Turning now to weather, let's check in with Max Carlton, who has more on these hot temperatures that we've been seeing throughout this weekend. Max? Yeah, and Alicia, the temperatures are still warm in some spots this evening. It's still 89 in Morgan Hill right now, 87 for San Antonio Valley. You can see the Salinas Valley still hanging on to temperatures in the low 80s. Salinas, 73 though right now, 70 for Watsonville, 71 for Santa Cruz, and you can see the Monterey Peninsula about 79. Very similar in Carmel Valley, Big Sur about 78 this evening. It was so warm today. I should say it was so hot today. We had some broken records. Gilroy got to 112 today. That's tied with a record back in September. But for the daily record, it beats it by eight degrees and it was set back in 1977. King City was 110 degrees today. That beat the record by five degrees, and that record was previously set in 1928. Santa Cruz, 104, beating the 98-degree record that was set in 2004. And also in 2004, Salinas had a high of 97. Well, today, we blew that out of the water by about six degrees, 103 today in Salinas. It was warm in some other spots too. Bradley got up to 117. That was the scorcher. 115 for Ben Lomond, Boulder Creek, San Juan Batista, and Bitterwater. Aromas got to 114. Man, it was a day for a pool if you had one, that's for sure. We are still dealing with this excessive heat warning. That's in effect until Monday, 9 p.m. This covers all of the purple shaded areas that stretches beyond the central coast into the Central Valley. The peach area here, still that excessive heat heat advisory that meteorologists are really keeping an eye on. Tomorrow it's going to be another warm day with little relief overnight as we've been seeing already uh, those high risks of heat related illnesses that are increased. We also have these fire alerts and some fire dangers. We actually have this advisor, this warning that's uh, in effect covering this this whole area and that's from 10 a.m. Tuesday until 8 a.m. Wednesday. And then we also have this area here that is really in that warning zone from 10 p.m. Monday through 8 a.m. Wednesday morning. So uh, keep that in mind and make sure you're not flicking cigarette butts or anything like that out the car window. Here's a look at your forecast for tonight into tomorrow for Santa Cruz and the Santa Cruz Mountains. We're talking about temperatures in the low 60s tonight along the coast. Up in the mountains, they'll be in the mid 60s. A couple areas will be warm in the 80s, 82 for Bonnie Dune, 86 for the summit area. Tomorrow, though, it'll be warm for Santa Cruz. 93 in the higher elevations will be in uh, the 100s, 110 for Boulder Creek, 108 for Felton. As we move on down the bay, you can see overnight temperatures will remain in the mid to low 60s along the coast. Inland will be a little bit warmer. Tomorrow, though, it'll be warm for Hollister and Gilroy, 109 expected, 96 for Salinas and Marina, about 80 degrees. Overnight temperatures will remain in the mid to low 60s on the Monterey Peninsula. Tomorrow, though, things will get to the upper 70s and low 80s, 89 for Carmel by the Sea. And as we take a look a little bit further out at Southern Monterey County here. You can see Bradley is going to top out at 114 tomorrow, 110 for Parkfield, and you can see the Salinas Valley there is going to remain in the 100s. Pinnacles 113, Big Sur 105. But again, those overnight temperatures tonight in the 60s. Taking a look at the next seven days, your Monday along the coast, like I mentioned, will be in the 80s. We'll be back down in the 70s by your Tuesday, and then we'll be in the low 70s to finish off the week. Those overnight temperatures will start off in the 60s this week, but they'll drop down to the mid 50s by the end of it. Taking a look at the inland areas, we're dealing with some hot temperatures with some breezes. 107 on your Monday, 67 overnight, and then we'll see the temperatures start to fall. 96 for your Tuesday, 86 for your Wednesday. We'll be back in the 90s to kick off next weekend, but those overnight temperatures will drop down to the mid 50s as we finish off next weekend. That's a look at your full forecast. Alicia, back over to you. All right, thanks, Max.